Good evening, you're watching News Mongolia on MNB World. And for our top stories, we have Efforts to battle invasive insects in forest areas are underway. In Mongolia, 6 out of 10 children suffer from dental issues. Comprehensive strategic dialogue between Mongolia and the United States is taking place in the U.S. For other news, stay tuned. In Mongolia, where 76% of the land is experiencing desertification, forestation is crucial. The loss of trees due to insects exacerbates the problem, making reforestation efforts even more essential. Currently, 490 hectares of land in Mongolia are infected with these destructive insects. The spread of these pests threatens the already fragile ecosystem, posing a significant challenge for environmental conservation. As the battle continues, there is a growing recognition of the need for long-term strategies to protect forests. This includes addressing the root causes of the destructive insects, such as climate change and the movement of invasive species. Without concerted efforts, the future of many forests will remain uncertain, threatened by the relentless advance of these forest-eating insects. Currently, the extermination works are done in 341 hectares of affected areas. For extermination, we use eco-friendly pesticides that don't harm the environment, because it's prohibited to use dangerous chemical substances. The pesticides only affect the insects. Currently, extermination works have been conducted on 80,300 hectares, and only 80% of extermination has been completed. At the moment, extermination efforts are being conducted in Batulzi, some of Urhanga province by plane. Education and awareness campaigns are also being conducted to inform the public about the importance of forest conservation and the impact of invasive species. By fostering a sense of responsibility and encouraging active participation, Mongolia hopes to turn the tide against the certification and insect investigations. We use two types of DJI Agra drones, Model T50 and Model T40, for forest research and testing. The fight against the destructive insects and the broader issue of desertification in Mongolia is a daunting task. However, with continued effort and collaboration between scientists, environmentalists, and local communities, there is a hope for the future. The resilience of nature combined with human determination can pave the way for a greener, healthier environment. According to a study, 6 out of 10 children in Mongolia suffer from tooth decay and other dental issues. Oral health impacts all organ systems, and doctors warn that poor dental health can affect a child's concentration and mental state. The high prevalence of dental disease among children is largely due to parents neglecting their children's baby teeth, assuming they are less important since they will eventually fall out. According to a June 2024 survey, about 3,000 children participated in early dental screening. Of these children, 80% had cavities and malformed teeth. This suggests that almost every child requires braces and dental treatment. These figures only represent those who underwent early detection. Doctors warn that the biggest mistake parents make is ignoring baby teeth, assuming they will simply grow back. After a child's milk teeth fall out, the newly erupted permanent teeth are very soft, the roots are not yet fully formed, and mineralization is not yet complete, making them more susceptible to cavities. As tooth decay progresses, the size of the child's teeth changes and the teeth become smaller. 
This can lead to problems such as improper growth of the next set of permanent teeth and the formation of tooth crowding. The cause of dental disease is closely related to the foods children eat. Candies, chips, sodas and spicy foods increase the acid in the mouth, leading to possible tooth decay. Research has shown that tooth decay can contribute to more than 200 types of diseases in the human body. Parents often overlook their children's baby teeth, assuming they will fall out soon and aren't worth caring for. However, neglecting these teeth can have more harmful effects on children. Consuming a lot of sugary foods daily creates an acidic environment in the mouth, which promotes tooth decay. Tooth decay can spread from one affected tooth to others, as it's self-infectious. According to health research, many children end up with three to five cavities as a result. Doctors advise that parents should teach their children to brush their teeth regularly and ensure they visit the dentist if they experience any toothache. Oral health extends beyond the mouth itself. It impacts other organ systems as well. Poor oral hygiene can negatively affect the digestive system, leading to stomach inflammation and issues with the esophagus in adults. Additionally, it can influence a child's concentration, which may in turn reduce their interest in studying. If teeth are healthy, the entire body benefits from better health. Medical experts caution that both children and adults, including parents, should prioritize oral health, as it's fundamental to overall well-being and disease prevention. Continuing with the current affairs of Mongolia. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Mongolia, Batatuk Batmuk, is visiting the United States from July 21st to 23rd, 2024, on the invitation of U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. She will lead the Mongolian delegation in the Mongolia-U.S. Comprehensive Strategic Dialogue. During her visit, Foreign Minister Batatuk will hold official discussions with Secretary Blinken participate in the comprehensive strategic dialogue alongside Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell and meet with the members of the U.S. Congress and government officials. The dialogue and meetings will focus on exchanging views to strengthen the third neighbor strategic partnership between Mongolia and the United States and expanding cooperation in areas of mutual interest, as reported by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Mongolia. And here are the currency exchange rates provided by Mongol Bank. Following this, let's pay attention to the international news provided by our partner agencies. In her first public remarks since President Joe Biden endorsed her for the 2024 White House campaign, Vice President Kamala Harris lauded Biden's unmatched legacy and expressed deep gratitude for his service to the nation. Biden's endorsement followed his exit from the race, a move prompted by Democratic concerns over his fitness for office, marking a significant shift in the presidential contest. Biden's departure on Sunday caused a seismic shift, disrupting the carefully planned strategies of both major political parties for the 2024 race. To move past the weeks of inter-party drama surrounding Biden's candidacy, prominent Democratic officials, party leaders and political organizations quickly rallied behind Harris following Biden's announcement. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. And Linda, I want to thank you for all you do to support these extraordinary student-athletes. And it is good to be here with so many leaders. 
including, of course, members of Congress, members of our administration, and our extraordinary athletes. Our President, Joe Biden, wanted to be here today. He is feeling much better and recovering fast, and he looks forward to getting back on the road. And I wanted to say a few words about our President. Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched in modern history. In one term, he has already, yes, you may clap. <laughs> In one term, he has already surpassed the legacy of most presidents who have served two terms in office. And I first came to know President Biden through his son, Beau. We worked together as attorneys general in our states. And back then, Beau would often tell me stories about his dad. He would talk about the kind of father and the kind of man that Joe Biden is. The qualities that Bo revered in his father are the same qualities that I have seen every day in our president. His honesty, his integrity, his commitment to his faith and his family, his big heart, and his love, deep love of our country. And I am firsthand witness that every day our President Joe Biden fights for the American people, and we are deeply, deeply grateful for his service to our nation. With Biden out of the race, his delegates are now free to support any candidate. Harris being the only declared candidate and endorsed by Biden is working swiftly to secure endorsements from a majority of delegates, solidifying her position as the Democratic frontrunner for the 2024 presidential election. And here's the weather forecast for the world's major cities. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you tomorrow with more stories and updates. Please follow MNB World on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.